Good morning, I'm Sam Mang. In today's video, we're going to be discussing the RDAP, Drug and Alcohol Program, and how to qualify for the program. First, let me take you back to April 2016, when at 7 in the morning, I got a knock on the door, and 15 men and women in blue FBI blazers carrying guns handcuffed me and brought me to this federal courthouse in West Palm Beach, Florida. I was charged with three counts of wire fraud. Fast forward two years to April 2018, and my case was transferred to Philadelphia, where I was sentenced to five years in federal prison for one count of wire fraud. My attorney, who kept telling me throughout the process, whether it was for uh, your pre-sentence report or for sentencing, don't worry, I have it handled. You don't have to prepare, everything's taken care of. I didn't know what options might be available to me. So when the judge read my sentence of 60 months, the only thing I thought of was, I'm gonna be in prison away from my family, my wife, children, everyone that mattered to me for 85% of that sentence, four years and two months. I surrendered to the camp in Miami a few weeks later, and an older gentleman asked me if I was there for the RDAP program, R-D-A-P. I looked at him, I didn't know what that meant. What is that program? And he explained to me that at the camp in Miami, as well as certain other camps around the country, there's a substance abuse program that if you qualify, you can get up to one year off of your sentence. He explained to me what the qualifications were, and I remember during my pre-sentence interview, the young lady asked me if I had a drug problem, and I laughed. And I said, ma'am, I haven't done drugs since the late 70s, early 80s, when I was in college. It's more about drinking. And again, I laughed. I said, are you kidding me? I drink like a fish. Who wouldn't drink given the stress I was in? And when I asked a little bit more detail about was it a problem, and again, without any preparation, I laughed it off and said, well, it's more of a problem for my wife. But we began the documentation process. Fast forward to my surrender and day two at the camp in Miami. And the gentleman said to me, well, if you qualify, why don't you go to the head of the RDAP program here at the camp and see if you can get in. The program runs four times a year. The next program starts in August of 2018. And if you get in, based on your sentence of 60 months, you can get up to one year off of your sentence. I figured, why not? Give it a shot. I went the next day. I applied for the program. Fast forward, I got into the program. I completed the nine month program and I got one year off of my 60 month sentence. That along with other advocacy and tools and resources that I learned while in prison helped me turn a 60 month sentence into 21 months at the camp of Miami. And while 20 months is, one month is still a long amount of time to be away from your family and loved ones, it sure beats the 60 months. What is RDAP? RDAP is one of the only programs in the federal system that can help you get actual time off of your sentence. And if you're sentenced to 24 months or longer, it's a graduated program that you can get anywhere from six to 12 months off of your actual sentence. Plus qualify for additional halfway house and home confinement time, plus get earned time credits to further reduce your sentence. How do you qualify? You need to document your struggles with drugs or alcohol. That documentation has to be part of your pre-sentence report, which is why I came to this building today. Two or three times a week I get calls from clients, or prospective clients, telling me they're being sentenced in a few weeks, or they just had sentencing, and their attorney asked their judge to recommend the RDAP program for them. And I asked them the first question, well, what does it say in your pre-sentence report? Is there any documented history of drug or alcohol abuse or struggles? And they say, no, my attorney told me I didn't have to mention it. I was embarrassed. I may, might get a, a worse reaction or sentence from the judge. So I was led to believe, just ask for it at sentencing. And if the judge recommends it, I'll get in the program. And that is not true. Whether you document it through one of our physicians or counselors, or you do it through one of your own. Proper documentation is needed, and it has to be part of your pre-sentence report. Without it in your report, the likelihood of getting into the program, the only program that can get up to one year off your sentence, is next to zero. So I bring you to this building because whether you just started the process, you were just charged, 
or you have your pre-sentence report coming up, or your sentencing coming up. Understand the challenges associated with federal prison. Understand what programs might be available to help you get out of prison sooner and back to your loved ones. And most important, understand that everything that needs to be done has to be done by you. Not by your attorney, not by relying on the federal judge to recommend something. If it's not done by you, it's not going to happen. I encourage you to reach out to me, call me, text me with any questions. The worst that happens is you become more knowledgeable about this process. Thank you.